Wag your tail if you wish me good luck. Let's see if I can get a wave. Can I get a wave? No. I wonder if that's the same guy that Ray's always waved at. Alright. Back to the point. Before you get to the casino, you can always take that exit to the Rustic Frog. That place is hopping. <laughs> uh, well, after about an hour and a half of silence and not thinking about poker, when you're about 10 minutes out from the casino and the World Series of Poker Circuit Monster Stack, you start to think about why you're coming. Uh, why do I put myself through this pain? The pain of poker tournaments, man. And part of the reason is because I love it. I love the competition. I love beating these other players. And even if it takes getting stabbed in the heart from the luck boxes that ruin a whole tournament, it's that one in three to one in five times that I cash that keeps me coming back. And guess what? Today is probably about the fifth time, fifth tournament since Vegas where I cashed that deep stack event I've probably played four, three or four tournaments since then so today's the day buddy buddies can we be buddies today is the day I am luck is going to be on my side when I get it ahead it's going to win when I get in behind I'm going to politely say I'm sorry when it hits we are going to final table this monster stack and I'm going to miss work again tomorrow. I know my boss a steak dinner, but that steak dinner is going to be so worth it. So worth it. Just do it for the competition or for the cash. Well, partly for the cash because I think all the time of ways that I can improve my wife and girl's lives. And if I could just hold on one time and hit a big one, you know, then... They can have whatever they want. I could save up forever and quit playing poker. And then 10 years from now, they could have whatever they want. But I want them to have whatever they want right now. And that's the truth. And that's awesome. Ignore the crack in the windshield. It is not going to get fixed because every time you fix that sh stuff on the highway 50 you get hit with another rock so it's just not happening so here we go on the count of three what are we gonna say what are we gonna say one two three i want it more <laughs> shout out to my buddy ray's vlogs awesome guy love it i've always loved that view of the casino they set this one up nice it's beautiful you walk all the way down that? I don't know. I don't want to walk all the way around and get in trouble. Uh, there's, it says there's 270 entries so far for the Monster Stack event, but they're on like alternate number 75. So I, and they haven't updated the chart, so I believe there's more than that. Maybe 300 and whatever the math is. Uh, first break. So far there's nobody dangerous at my table. There's no maniacs, so that's a good table for me and my type of play because I'm cool, calm, and collective. Don't get too crazy, don't get too out of hand. Uh, though today I decided I wasn't limping at all due to a cash fail a couple of times where I get too complacent and limp, limp, limp. I'm not limping at all today unless the intention is to trap. That cost me a little more because I raised with some hands that got some three bets that were way too big for me to battle with. So. It is what it is, but I'm happy with it. I'm up a little bit, and I'm ready to go start this level five and finish strong. Not finish strong. Won't be finishing anytime soon. 
it's going to be a long day, and that's that's what I like. I could sit here and play poker, float and a little fly in the urinal. You know, it doesn't matter what they put in there, what kind of sticker, you're going to try to pee on it. The only strange thing that's happened so far is my dealers threw it off the table to me over my shoulder twice. Other than that, the dealer's been great. We've had him for the whole first two hours though, and I'd say they're switching dealers right now because they're taking a 20 minute break for them. We made second break, 24K, coming back to 600 big blinds. Not bad, I've, played, I've made some pretty dumb plays, mainly on the button when it folds all the way around to me. I would usually fold a bad hand, but I've raised every time and it hasn't worked out real well. I peaked at 29K, so I'll take 24K. Still kicking at 40 big blinds. I don't know, 40 big blinds? I don't know if I already said that, my battery's low. Um, so they have really sticky chips. They're the old chips for the tournament play. And they have three different colors of 5,000 denomination. That's pretty cool. And lastly, just a little bit ago, they said they ran out of chips. How do you have a WSOP stop every year? You know you're having it, <laughs> and you run out of chips. That's pretty bad. It's not like they're struggling. They could buy another chip set. Still beautiful. Water. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we are up to 415 entrants. I think this guy's going to try and throw my phone in. 415 entrants, and if that guy would have tried to throw my phone in, I would have threw him in. Just a weird feeling, but... You know what, not, son? Alright, we made dinner break. I had the wings. They were... Meh, okay. Um... I'll come back to 12 big blinds. I should be in the big blind. Nothing happened the last two hours. We had the slowest dealer yet. He wasn't terrible, just slow. I had kings one time and won the blinds. I had queens and won one limper. And then the most decisive hand was I had nines and I called a raise when I should have three bet from the big blind and nothing came on the flop and it was over. It was sad, sad moment. Nope, oh, I gotta let you guys go. People are swarming. I should probably, next update will be in two hours or 30 seconds for you guys. And it'll be, I'll be sitting 40 big blinds at that fourth break. Should be awesome. See you then. All right, it's after level 15. I don't have as many big blinds as I said I'd have. I have 17 big blinds. I'm at 50K, I think I peaked at like 57 or 59, I'm not even sure. It goes so fast. Um, there's less, it says there's 90 left, but there's less than 90 left. 45 pay and it's 27 up top, 27K. I don't know what all I've already said because it all gets drawn out and plus I just speak off the top and who knows how confusing everything is I've said or if it even makes any sense and I'll just ramble on and on. Anyhow, my gutsiest dumbest play was when I had 17k and the blinds were one uh, 612 or something like that and guy raises the 41 the guy calls 4100 and I just call 4100 instead of shoving it all in the flop is like Queen 97 to two two of them are spades and I check I, the guy bets 7k next guy folds and I shove for 12k total and the guy tanks forever convinced I have ace queen and folds so that was dumb. That was gutsy. For the rest of the roller coaster, you'll have to follow me on Twitter. It's at hello7027. I will be back in 
two hours. It'll be the second to last break of the night. And I will probably be sitting at 50 big blocks. So that'd be sweet. We made the money. 45 people left. I have 18 big blinds, 110k coming back to 6k. The guy behind me follows me on Twitter. What's up? Um, the only time I was at risk was with like 12 big blinds. I had jacks and a guy called me with fives. I doubled up and I steamrolled ever since. I peaked at like 160k. Now I'm just chilling at 110k. 45 people left. 44 in the way of the ring. Supposed to be at work at 6.30 in the morning. I think I'm gonna be, it's midnight. I think I'm gonna be taking a sick day. All right, well, I'll be back in two hours, which will be the end of the day. Rocked in 50 big blinds for day two. <coughs> Holy crap, guys, it's 3 a.m. There's 23 people left. I'm down to 14 big blinds. Oh, which is 168K. I was up to 290K, but then it got seven handed and a guy who has almost a million chips, just anytime there was a raise, he'd re-raise a billion. No, he would just pop it by like seven or eight times. It's crazy. So, I really struggled there that last 40 minutes, but I'm, but I did, okay, yeah, at the 290 point, I was up to 32 big blinds, and nothing, I can't even recall what all's happened. Like I said earlier, you'll have to check my Twitter, at hello7027, and I don't even know if any of this has made sense. I know I've probably said that already. I don't even know if this is worthwhile of taking videos between breaks or if anybody even cares. If you've made it to this point, you should like it. That way I know. Well, no, only like it if you want to see more of it, like the next tourney I play or the next time I play poker. And I'll try to go into more. If you have any questions, just ask, like about any of my plays or any of my comments, because I'm just talking off the top and confusing myself I did score a room I live about an hour and 45 from here but <clears throat> scored a room and a dental hygiene kit and deodorant but I will be wearing the same clothes tomorrow and I'll be sleeping in my contacts which is rough I have an alarm set for four hours so I can call my boss for a sick day oh he's gonna be pissed tomorrow's a super busy day at work um, but I'll, I'll make up for it in the best of what I do. <laughs> okay, I'll probably stop this now, I'm getting a little loopy doopy. Um, yeah, 23 people left, restart is tomorrow at 2, so that's in 11 hours. I'm gonna get sleep for the most of that. Try to figure out the contact situation, maybe go buy a new shirt, we'll see. You never know. And I'll update you guys tomorrow at the start of the day. How awesome and creepy is that fog? I don't know if it shows up on camera like it does in life, but because I'm watching the road, it's pretty sweet. So I struggled to sleep about, I don't know, three and a half hours, coughing fits, and just have this head cold coming on strong, baby. So I'm making a quick early morning Walmart run. Go get some Dayquil and some contact solution so I can finally just take my contacts out. Go back to the hotel, take my contacts out, get about three, four hours of sleep hopefully. Shower, hit the ground running. I'm sitting 22nd out of 23 people. run it up guys there is no way I'm gonna let these 22 poker players stay in the way of my first ring no way I may have faltered that last level by losing about 100k but 
Not today. Not today. It's not happening today. 50 minute levels, 14 bigs. I have all day, baby. All day. Oh, what's up? We got an hour before kickoff. Uh, sitting up here overlooking the river, eating powdered donuts, getting them all over me. There's probably some in my teeth. Sorry. Uh, I'm ready. I'm way at the bottom, but that's a it's going to be a climb up anyways. I'm excited. Let's do this. Let's delete all these videos because this is embarrassing. <laughs> Oh man, I'd record stuff in the casino, but it seems like my buddy, you know, got that sort of banned. Actually, I don't know if it's his fault, but he brought it to, it's been brought to attention, so I'm not even going to try it. But yeah, I doubt I update again before. I'll just let you know at the first break where I'm at. Probably first break would be two hours, two 50 minute levels. Um, I'm not sure. I'd say a handful of people are going to drop. We'll be down to two tables for sure. That'd be cool. Two tables are good. One table is the goal. Put a ring next to this ring that I'll never take off. And my wife will be like, why don't you take that ring off? And I'll say, I've never taken this ring off. <laughs> okay, bye. Well, I just called in a pizza for me and the girls for when I get home. I'm gonna smash my face into that like those kids do the one year old birthday cake and fall asleep in it. As you can tell, the poker tournament's over for me. I jumped some pay spots. There was 23 people left. I finished 18th. I, a lot of people were just folding to raises, so I shoved my last 12 big blinds late position with ace jack off and the small blind woke up with aces the only thing i could have done which is going to sound crazy to you guys is min raise like everybody was doing and if he goes all in at that point i would fold and have 10 big blinds wouldn't have been a big deal to me at all and i don't know why i didn't do that because that's the way i played the tournament and that's what got me that far I grabbed my chippies and threw them in there. That's all right, because it is what it is. And I had a nice deep run. I loved it. Had a lot of support on Twitter and Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Fun. I can't wait for the next tournament. Hopefully, I get some sleep for the day too. And I don't. I'm not feeling like shit coughing all night. That'll be awesome. I don't know what the next tournament will be. I know I do want to play the main event this year. So I have like one tenth of that now. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. There's a guy on a dirt bike. I wish I was that guy. Woo, you're having fun. Um, he's insane. He just ramped the road behind me and then went down and up a ditch. Okay. I did defend my big blind a couple times there in those in that level and stacked a little bit of chips and then went down a little bit of chips and stacked a little bit. The only hand that I possibly could have played different and a lot of people would have played different is the small blind, a very good thinking player, shoved me all in and I had ace three off. That would have been a real good spot to double up, probably. But I folded, waited for a better opportunity, and unfortunately, I didn't pick a better opportunity. Okay, that's it. I'm rambling. Like it if you like it. Comment with any questions. And we'll see what's up. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you made it this far.